VMware and Intel have enjoyed a long-term collaboration in telecom software infrastructure, and the two companies are continuing that with NFVI. Gabrielli and Brian, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. Yeah. Um, Gabrielle, perhaps we can start with, with yourself. What, what and how exactly is Intel and VMware working and collaborating to develop better network functions, virtualization yeah. infrastructure? Yeah, uh, first of all, you're right, we've been collaborating for quite a quite long time. I think we are at a crucial moment in the industry where uh, NFV uh, is going mainstream, 5G is just about to be you know, prepared for rollout. There is a need of a much, much tighter collaboration between infrastructure and the, you know, the software layer that basically exposes this, uh, the infrastructure functions. Uh, specifically, I mean, recently we've been collaborating on how to improve and increase performance in the platform, uh, but this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's a much wider collaboration uh, that ranges from you know, security, uh, awareness, and so forth. Right. And Brian, what, what, what is Intel bringing to the collaboration to help CSPs with NFE? Well, yeah. So, so you know, since the the foundation of NFE, you know, we've we've moved from a single vendor environment to a multi-vendor environment, and of course, that transition, you know, has brings a whole range of challenges with it. And one of those challenges is you know ease of use and ease of adoption. And so, what we bring uh, to the table is you know this our scalable uh, Xeon platform that allows you to have infrastructure for various parts of the network scaling workloads up and down. We bring our, the, our contributions to the DPDK uh, open source community to provide efficient software to enable that uh, network function performance on that Intel architecture product, and of course, uh, uh, our, our Ethernet NICs uh, uh, for the, the, the platforms as well. And Gabriele, what about VMware's latest release, the, the vCloud yeah. NFE 3.0? Yeah, uh, actually one of the cornerstone themes for this release is performance. Uh, we put it up front, number one uh, is the main message. Um, again, collaboration with Intel, uh, we actually come in out publicly, we are bumping up performance up to 5x, what used to be in the past. Uh, Brian said, you know, leveraging DPD, DPDK technology. But I think it's more than just the BDK, it's actually a combination of, you know, how you look at the platform performance as a whole, uh, and uh, that's not one component. Ultimately, uh, this is about economics which means that it's a much better TCO, cost of ownership, uh, for our carriers going now. And what can we uh, expect of the collaboration and partnership going forward? What, what, what other uh, facets might we, might we see develop? Well, I think, so uh, to, to key off the performance trajectory, so one of the things that I liked about this particular collaboration is that with that DPDK-enabled software exposing the benefits of, of Intel, it slots right under the, the vCloud infrastructure. So you can have all of the benefits of this existing infrastructure, but now with that increased performance. So going forward, what I think we'll see is um, those platforms, um, that whole infrastructure, uh, running at multiple locations in the network, with 5G and the evolution of edge, uh, this is going to be essential area of collaboration between the companies going forward, as well as that continued performance improvement but not just in terms of raw packet processing performance, but also in terms of the overall system performance, the service assurance capability, the telemetry exposure, the, uh, of course, platform security, and everything that goes with that. I think these are all areas that you're going to see uh, part of that collaboration going forward. Really? Yeah, uh, agreed. I um, completely agree on the topic about systems performance, right? It's not one component. Uh, telemetry is an example, is essential. Uh, moving into much more refined grain, real-time, closed-loop interaction, uh, you couldn't do it if you don't collect information straight, you know, at the infrastructure level. Um, security, uh, if you think of what's happening now in the evolution of networks, uh, with a much more distributed architecture, all the way to the edge, powering IoT applications, that should be top of mind as well. Uh, all of these are uh, themes where we're actually collaborating directly from the Telco NV team or across VMware. In fact, we actually leverage a much broader collaboration platform with Intel. Might we also see support for Intel Select Solutions as well in the future? Yeah, so we've been collaborating, uh, obviously, um, the discussion is around the follow the use cases that are actually happening uh, in the industry. Uh, as we've seen, uh, you know, early adoption in uh, mobile core networks, uh, um, you know, IMS, CPC, Vault solution, or uh, virtual CPE. 
then we're now collaborating in looking at blueprints of what's actually happening on mobile edge or multi-access edge computing and exactly. what's happening in the future. Yep. Right. Yep. Yep. Well, Brian and Gabelli, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you very much.